Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. So quickly, let me address my hair. I did stretch it because I wanted to do this heatless curl tutorial for you. I was on YouTube as I always am and this video popped up and I saw this beautiful girl. She did style her hair heatless curls and she used the bathrobe belt to do it. So I thought it was really cool. I wanna try it out. You know, I'm always trying different methods for heatless curls because I do not apply direct heat on my hair. Matter of fact, I haven't pressed my hair in four years. I really wanna press it and I just trimmed my hair last night, so I may be pressing my hair very soon. So stay tuned for that video. I want to try these heatless curls, see if this hack works. And of course, my hair is a lot thicker than hers, but heatless curls are heatless curls. So let's just get right into the video. She started on blow dried hair, but for me, this is equivalent to a no heat blowout. So I am going to part my hair in half just like she did. So I'm going to part it right down the middle. All right, I think that that looks good. And it's interesting because I do not wear my hair in a center part. I really like to wear off center parts because I think it frames my face a lot better, but I'm gonna follow the tutorial instructions. Now she puts this belt from a robe right on her hair, right in the middle. So I'm gonna do the same. And then she just clips this part out of the way. So I have my little scrunchie right here. All right, so I know it looks a little a little weird, but we are gonna work with it. And she starts curling her hair just like that. I only have leave-in conditioner and a little bit of oil on my hair. I definitely want a styler. So I chose to use this one from Jane Carter's. This is their curl defining cream. And because my ends are blunt, because of the trim I just did last night, I definitely need a little bit of styler on my ends, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna take about this much, rub it in my hands, and just work it in my hair. And I chose to use a cream just because I feel it's gonna help the style last. And also because this is one of my favorite stylers. I just love the way it makes my hair feel. I wanna make sure that this style lasts for a good time because it's really cute. Now I'm gonna take this paddle brush and just smooth the styler in my hair, just really making sure that it's worked in very well. And I'm gonna put the belt back on. And it seemed that she was taking small sections of hair and just twirling it behind the belt, almost like a flat twist. So I'm just going to do that, just take a small section of hair, take it behind the belt, and then just continue. So I'm gonna take another small section of hair and put it behind the belt. And just keep doing that. I'm just using the belt just to help me anchor the hair around. So I'm making sure that I'm also pulling my hair very snug because I want this style to last. And then for the hair in the back, I'm just making sure that I smooth it. I'm really making sure that I'm pulling my hair nice and taut. Make sure that all my hair gathers here. And then I'm just gonna smooth the ends down just to make sure that the ends of my hair can, you know, be nice and smooth. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the cream to the ends. And just keep pulling my hair around the belt. Really nice. And the point where you don't have any more hair to wrap around the belt, you just smooth the ends. I'm just gonna make sure that all of my hair is pretty nice and neat on the belt and that I don't have any hair sticking out in the back. So she just twists this section around and twisting the belt too. And then she rolls it around like that and just secures the belt with a scrunchie and I have this little fitness headband, and I'm just gonna use that to secure. All right, so I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna do the same to the other side. All 
right, I think that's enough. Let me put the belt back, grab a little chunk of hair. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cream where my roots are just to help smooth away any frizz. I really want this style to come out good, so I'm going to make sure that I'm doing everything that I can. So next, she secured her hair with a pair of old pantyhose. I don't have any, I do have a couple leggings that I love, so I will not be cutting them up, but instead I'm going to use this wig cap from Evolve. I only use wig caps when I straighten my hair, and because I thought I was going to straighten my hair last year, I picked these up, but I haven't used them. It is a pack of two, so I'm just going to use one for this. This wig cap is nice and tight, so it's going to mimic the same roll as pantyhose would. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't really disturb my hair and just <laughs> put this on. I feel like I look really silly. <laughs> and it is going to stay nice and secure while I sleep. And also make sure that my edges stay nice and tamed. I'm gonna sleep just like this because this wig cap is really tight. It's not going anywhere overnight. I'm just gonna sleep on my satin pillowcase and hopefully in the morning when I unravel, I have some really beautiful heatless curls. We'll see in the morning. Okay, it's the next day and I'm ready to see how these heatless curls look. So all she did is take this off. Ooh, it is so tight. And sleeping on this, I'll say I just had to sleep on my back primarily because if I slept over on either side, it would just pull my hair a little bit, but other than that, it was not too uncomfortable. And she just took this off and unraveled the belt. Ooh. Ooh. So now, all she did was unravel the hair. Ooh, I see some curls. Just have a little hair on the belt. I don't want to make any frizz. It gets easier as I'm getting to the top. I like this curl, this one is <laughs> the best. All right, so hopefully this side will look good. All right, so this is how my hair looks. I mean, it's very different from what I'm used to. I think it looks okay. <laughs> This side definitely looks a lot better than this side. I'm just going to kind of separate the curls a little bit for some more volume.
Okay, so I think this is as good as it's going to get. I do like the volume, and I know it's not going to last other than today. I mean, today is gonna be it, so I'm gonna have to figure out something else I have to do tonight for tomorrow, but other than that, I think that it looks okay for day one. I'm gonna take my pictures now. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you want me to try any other heatless curl hacks, I am working on a few others to style your hair without using direct heat. I will find something else that I can kind of simulate a nice spiral curl without using any curling irons. All right, I put some earrings in. I think it kind of jazzed up the style a little bit. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.